So far we have been dealing separately with linear distinct roots and the multiplicity of linear roots. Now let's consider when the denominator is a mixture of repeated and distinct roots. So let's consider the integral of x plus 7 all over x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x dx. So our first step here is to factorize the denominator. So x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x all contains a common factor of x. So this can be written as x into x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now x squared plus 6x plus 9 is simply x plus 3 by x plus 3. Or simply x by x plus 3 to be squared. And so we can express x plus 7 all over x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x as x plus 7 all over x by x plus 3 to be squared. Now what do you think the partial fraction expansion for this function should be? So firstly considering the x term, the partial fraction expansion is going to be some constant a over the root which is simply x. For the next factor, x plus 3 all to be squared, as this is a repeated root, we will simply have some constant b over x plus 3, and some other constant c all over x plus 3 all to be squared. And now if we cross multiply by x by x plus 3 to be squared, we would get x plus 7 all over x by x plus 3 to be squared, by x x plus 3 to be squared, equals a over x by x x plus 3 to be squared plus b over x plus 3 by x x plus 3 to be squared and finally plus c all over x plus 3 to be squared by x x plus 3 to be squared. And again as we can see a lot of the factors will cancel out and we're simply left with x plus 7 equals a by x plus 3 to be squared plus b x by x plus 3 plus c times x. So once again we have one equation in three unknowns a, b and c, but we can vary the value of x to help us determine these values of a, b and c. So again picking values of x which will knock one or two of the variables out and thus being able to calculate the remaining variable. If we choose x equals minus 3, we would have minus 3 plus 7 equals a minus 3 plus 3 to be squared, plus b minus 3 minus 3 plus 3, plus c by minus 3. a and b cancel, so we're simply left with 4 equals c by minus 3, or simply c equals minus 4 over 3. Whereas if we pick x equals 0, we have 0 plus 7 equals a, 0 plus 3 to be squared, plus b, 0, 0 plus 3, plus c times 0. So now c and b both cancel out, and we're left with 7 equals a by 3 to be squared, so 9a or a equals 7 all over 9. So at this point we have found a value for a and we have found a value of c. And there is no other value of x we can use which will cancel out a and c and leave us with b. However, if we consider any value of x, say x equals 1, as we have already determined a and c, we can calculate an expression and hence a value explicitly for b. So if x equals 1, we have 1 plus 7 equals a, which is 7 over 9, by 1 plus 3 to be squared, plus b times 1 by 1 plus 3, plus c, which is minus 4 over 3, all multiplied by 1. Tidying this up, we have 8 equals 7 over 9 by 4 to be squared, so multiplied by 16, plus b by 1 by 4, so plus 4b minus 4 over 3 by 1, so minus 4 over 3. So if we tidy this up, we have 4b equals 
minus 52 over 9 or simply b equals minus 13 over 9. And so the partial fraction expansion of x plus 7 over x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x is given by a, so 7 over 9 over x plus b minus 13 over 9 x plus 3 plus c which is minus 4 over 3 by x plus 3 to be squared.